when you when you're going through this, what what is the program they have to coach, counsel the sniper after they had an experience? Who did you guys go talk to to calm you down? Was there Nobody. any? No. Listen, it took me on that my last tour of Afghan. I got blown up. Also, I got um, I got my helmet here. I got shot in the helmet. So I got shot there, and it came out there. Wow. And it knocked me out for about 20, probably 20 seconds. I was clean out. And that was an AK-47 short round. And that got shot at probably 100 yards, um, if that. And it knocked me clean out. And then three weeks after that, I got blown up by an IED, a 30-kilo anti-tank mine, hit my vehicle, which I broke both my arms. I got a... Uh, a, a, a brain injury, my hips are knackered, everything. And then um, I was put back to England. And then six weeks later, they took the casts off my hands, made me do 10 press ups and redeployed me back into Afghanistan. And then when my tour finished, I didn't feel right up here. You know, when my tour finished, um, I did 23 years in the British Army and it took me half an hour to get kicked out to say goodbye. No thank you, no good service, no nothing. They just just kick you out. They kicked you out for what? For uh, PTSD, uh, adjustment disorder, uh, and also my injuries. My injuries. 23 years and took them half an hour. So... How, how do you feel, how do, in your mind, how do you feel about the, the way they handled it? How do you feel about uh, the military itself? Is it more your frustration is, is towards an individual or the entire is, institution as a whole? You know, where is your biggest frustration with? Just the, how the Army treat people with PTSD um, and how they go about treating it. Don't get me wrong, my I have a friend now who's suffering and he's still serving. He's he's in the process of getting discharged. And um what they've offered him, the regiment, is fantastic. But when I, you know, eight years ago, uh, it was no nothing like that. It was just you get kicked out of the regiment, you get palmed off onto um like a sick regiment where they look after all the wounded and injured soldiers. And then from there, they sort your discharge papers out and you, you're gone, you know? Did they give you 100% retirement? Is it 100%? No. 50%? No, 30%. 30% retirement on 23 years? Yeah. So not even 100% disability, any of that? They didn't give you any of that? That's, no, 30%. That's, it's kind of weird because in U.S., they started doing 100% dis on things like this, and they were not at one point, but 30%. So... What did you do after being a sniper? What, how do you make your money? I mean, on your resume, you say, hey, I'd like to get a job here. What are you great at? I'm great at taking people out 2000, you know, you know what do you go do? Do you become a manager somewhere? What, is, what, what job qualifies you to go and say, I'm qualified to do this job? The, I'm lucky. I work for a company at the moment that um, understand about PTSD and understands, and I'm probably the third, fourth person there was in the military, sort of like being discharged, and they're really good. And I just work in a factory, basically. I work in a factory, and that's all I do now. And I sit at my bench making parts for um, machinery, and that's all I do. And it's it's mind, it's, it's mind numbing, but it's, it's a job, and I'm lucky to have a job, and I'm lucky that this company is, is taking me on, and they looked after me, and I appreciate that. Well, good for them, man, for doing that. You know, the, the companies that do things like that, uh, uh, I, I spoke to a group in Dallas who were former paratrooper, Navy SEALs, Delta, you know, all the main ones, Ranger, all the big ones in the U.S. that we have, right? And these are sharp-looking guys like you, sharp guys, strong guys. And they're having a hard time getting a job. They're having a hard time getting a job after their career because what do you see on your resume? You know, although some of them, like a, a sniper, I can imagine a sniper. Are you a math guy or no? Are you somebody that's good with numbers? I'm assuming you have to be as a sniper, right? Because the whole thing is math 
and angle. Yeah, but since I've um, got a TBI, um, little things like stress me. I get stressed a lot Makes lately. Sense. You know, I get um, frustrated with myself because I can't do much like I used to. Like um, this November, I'm I'm having my hips replaced. You know, so I won't be able to go into the gym. So mm. that's more stress and more frustration yeah. with me. You know, but the the going back to the army, the army's getting much better at how they're dealing with things. The British army you know? and the way they're handling it. Yeah, okay. n- nowadays they're getting much better. You know, I think they're learning by their mistakes. So if you like this little short clip from an interview I did, click over here to watch the entire interview. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.